to blush when somebody says your name In my stomach there's a pain You walk in my direction, I go the other up way I start to stutter when I speak You understand me, but my knees go weak What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? Welcome man. So first and foremost If nobody told you as of yet today I love you if nobody told you as of yet today, I am proud of you. You're going to continue to achieve anything you set out to do. You understand me? Also, you already know, I do have to give you that brief disclaimer. I only want you to take what resonates, and I want you to leave the rest behind, all right? I don't want you trying to force certain scenarios for you. If you don't get your confirmation through me, I guarantee you won't get it through somebody else. So be patient with your process. Also, y'all already know, my voice too raspy to be whispering. So this about the time that you probably wanna hit that volume, all right? So before we get started, as always, I wanna thank you so much in advance for all your love, like, share, subscribes, gifts, kind words, not only to myself, but each other too. I don't always get to pause in the middle of my message to say that to you. So I appreciate you, right? So chosen ones, now we gonna have to talk, all right? There's some of you right now who have done exactly what God asked you to do. You isolated from certain individuals. You started applying to certain things that you wanted to do. You started to pursue your purpose, put fear aside. You didn't heal certain things that you was going through as a child. And right now you may be at a standstill and you starting to get a little confused because you did everything that God asked you to do, but now you feel like you're not moving like you just was. See, you started to feel that momentum in a sense. See, when you first started changing, you ain't catch on that you was moving because you started off slow. But then you realized that everywhere you look, that's what's needed to do in order to get to where you needed to go, right? So when you think about racing or somebody in track and field, they start off slow at first and then they go momentum, right? Then they go faster and faster. Now they got their flow, right? So initially when you started, you ain't realize that she was playing a major part then, but again, you sat there and kept on going and little by little, certain things started to come together in a sense. See, when I say that chosen ones, you started to put your pieces to your puzzle together. I tell you, life is just like a thousand pieces. You understand, or the biggest puzzle piece that you see, the biggest box of puzzles that you have, right? There comes multiple pieces, correct? See, one by one, you had to, closely look at them analyze it see you got a quick glimpse of the cover in a sense see you didn't have that to keep holding on to god showed you a quick glimpse told you a quick thing that you needed to do and at that point in time you had to trust the process right so you had to see yourself through you had to put one by one all those pieces together so some of them, again, you had to turn certain parts around. You had to repiece them because in that box, there may have been multiple color coordinates, right? Now, what do I mean? See, you was out there trying to force certain pictures with certain partners that wasn't for you. Certain positions that you was working in, that's not what you was called to do. Certain family that you was chasing, friends, so on and so forth, right? You was out here feeling like they was big part of your puzzle, but you ain't realized that there was some extras, right? Or individuals weren't who they seemed to be. See, this may have been a blue and this was a blue too, but they had a different shape and size to them. Now, what do I mean? There's some of you that was trying for a certain karmics into being your true divine partner. You was trying to squeeze them in in a sense and was wondering why when you put all your pieces together, it still wasn't coming together, right? See, there was some of you that had applied to certain jobs. You was doing certain things that they asked you to and you was wondering why they still was taking advantage of you, why you was getting, wasn't getting paid for the things that you were supposed to get paid for. It's because you was trying to force it. You needed to take a step back and analyze it. You understand me? See, you had to realize, yes, that was a blue, but that was a different shade too. Yes, that was a red, but that was more so this type of side, so on and so forth, right? So right now, you reanalyze it. See, some of you need to reanalyze your pieces because you're gonna start to realize that that's 
the reason why you wasn't seeing everything to come together. That's because this needed to be turned this way and this was just an extra that somebody threw in there that had no place in there. There were some people that end up coming through, miss, mixing up your energy in a sense. You understand me? Mixing certain things together that didn't need to be. So again, chosen ones, you're starting to see certain things clearly, right? There's certain mothers that came and bumped into your table in a sense. This is them telling you certain suggestions, recommendations, certain things that they felt like you needed to do, right? This could have been your friends that try to encourage you to make certain moves that was deterring you from the past that you were supposed to be on, right? See, this could have been certain fears, so on and so forth. See, they threw and mixed match certain pieces that didn't belong. And every time you try to put them together, you thought that you was the one doing wrong that wasn't the case you just had to reanalyze a few things you're gonna realize that certain things didn't belong so now chosen ones a lot of us we already went through that phase right we already then reanalyzed the pieces got the extra parts out that's when you isolated to elevate in a sense you walked away from certain toxic connections you let go of certain toxic friends you finally left that job position or they got rid of you instead you understand me? Either way, now you are on your path. But you may have felt like you are still at a standstill. You looking over your hand, trying to see where you lacking, and you keep re-looking over your pieces like, God told me to walk away from that person I did. God told me to apply to this position I did. You asking God certain things and you confused. You keep re-looking over your hand. When what if I told you that the answer to your question didn't lie in your hand that's with you what if i told you the rest of the pieces of the puzzle is actually going to come from a different individual now what do i mean see some of y'all may have said something like oh nah i don't need nobody for nothing shoot i ain't waiting for nobody i'm gonna do it myself okay okay you may think that now but you're gonna see it, right see chosen ones you put your pieces together and you got a certain picture, right? So you know that you are supposed to live a certain type of life. You know that you're supposed to have a specific type of partner. You know that you're supposed to have certain reciprocation, so on and so forth, right? So you have a clear view of the things that you want for you, right? Okay, cool. See, what if I told you somebody else had a whole nother piece of that puzzle that you ain't even get to yet? See, what if I told you that they was intentionally separated, but once you combine them, you're going to see an even bigger picture then, right? See, there's some of you that are currently waiting or asking God about certain moves that you need to do. You asking God like, God, I need to, I want to move to a new location. I need to move to a new location, but you may not know where you need to move to. See, you either have the funds, but ain't found a place yet. Or you have found certain places, but you may not feel like you have that paycheck, whatever the case may be, right? You feel like there's a certain point that you have reached where you didn't did everything that you can do, but you still feel now that you're in a stagnant sense. God is bringing those answers through. The only thing that you have to do is sit and be still. What do I mean? Because you keep, again, looking over everything that you have, reanalyzing all of these things. You keep second guessing you, thinking that you messed up or made a mistake. And God's like, nah, be patient. I got somebody else that's going to come in. See, this may come in the form of a partner. You wondering where you're supposed to move to. You so used to wanting to do everything for yourself that you're not realizing that God's bringing somebody else that's going to do those things with you. You so fact fixed on the fact that you want to have an own house of your own. Now, I ain't going to live with nobody else. I'm going to have my own crib. Because when you had past partners that they you stayed with them, they held that over your head. Or you had certain family members that was quick to kick you out when you were staying in their house, so on and so forth. So now you like you want to have your own. You don't want to go without, right? So the idea of the fact that God's telling you to be patient because you're not going to move into your own place. You're waiting for that person that you're about to be connected to and you're about to move in with them. Because again, you like, I got all the pieces, but it's still not coming together. It's because somebody else is going to bring that to you. And see, the thing is, you keep doing you. Because that person who's coming in is doing them too. See, I ain't talking about you spreading yourself thin to multiple individuals. I'm talking about you do what you can. You apply what God tells you to apply. Save where he tells you to save. Do what he tells you to do. Somebody else is getting told the same directions as you. And guess where it's going to lead them to? Exactly to you. 
And guess what? When y'all come together, you're going to be like, I have this. They're going to be like, well, I got that. So now y'all can make moves because you done ran into your perfect match. See, you so used to having everything happen to fall on yourself or you done been in certain situations where you had to depend on somebody else. So the idea of somebody else coming in and you actually moving in with them is giving you anxiety, but you need to calm down. You heard me. You got to realize that you're not even the same person that you was when you was going through what you went through. You're not even the same person that you was when you was dealing with those older individuals. You understand me? When I say old, I'm talking about them past people. So you so scared or you so, you understand, anxious pertaining to it and your answers lie in another person that God's about to bring in. See, some of you again are realizing that this place you could apply to. Everything seemed like it was great. All of a sudden, you got a call back at the last minute and said that you couldn't make that move. So now you back at square one, so you think. And now you starting to panic. But God's like, nah, that was part of the plan. See, you was going to pay this amount for that place that came with half of what this other place is going to give you. See, had you moved there, that would have been you living in fear because that surrounding wasn't that good. See, had you moved there, you would have moved into a slam, into a place with a slumlord in the sense and again you wouldn't have been good see had you moved there you would have had to move somewhere else soon after so now i told you don't make that move god is starting to present certain things but again he's going to see what you're going to do if god tells you okay move like this and you move like that and now you're thinking like well god i did what you told me to do but it didn't happen God's like, nah, that was just a test, right? I wanted to make sure that that was practice because when this real opportunity comes, I need to make sure you're going to make a move just like I told you to in order to grab it. See, you thinking that you wasn't thinking clearly. You thinking because when you applied, it didn't come out right. You could apply to that job, felt intuitively that you was going to get it, and at the last minute, they told you that they went with another option. That was God's intentions. God was like, nah, I just want to see, are you going to move how I'm asking you to do? Because when that time really counts, I'm going to need you to do that. You understand me? So, for instance, some of you then been the child that your parents trained certain things on, or you train in a sense. Now, what do I mean? Like where you say, okay, well, if there's an emergency, what you going to do? Some of us that had parents actually act like they're going to pass out on the ground just to see what we was going to do. Certain people that act like a certain emergency just to see how we was going to move, right? God does that same training purposes for you too. Because he wants to see, are you still stuck in the past? So when this opportunity finally presents itself, are you going to run away or are you going to grab it? Are you going to be scared or are you going to be confident? You understand me? So you thinking that you did something wrong because you made that move that God told you to do and it didn't pan out for you. It did. That was practice. God's like, nah, because listen, I needed to make sure because, you know, before, before I asked you to do that and you waited forever, some things got to be done like that. You understand me? So just know there's some of you that that. Again, the keys and clues that's going to come to you is going to come through a different individual. This doesn't have to just be certain relationship partnerships. This is certain people that you're going to be working with, certain people that you randomly cross paths with, and they say something to you that serves as a confirmation. You have to realize that the only job for you right now is to get to know you so that you know the confirmations when they get spoken to you. You understand me? The keys and clues. The blues clues in a sense, you got to look and pay attention, analyze it, pay attention. I'm trying to tell you, God's going to show you, but you feeling like you got to rush. God's like, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you. See, you see how you can move in that place without any anybody with you. You see how you can get that spot. Okay, cool. But now I'm about to bring somebody who can pay that same amount for themselves. So now y'all combine and y'all going to get something even bigger and better. Now you get to, or if that location didn't serve purpose for that person, you could be feeling like, okay, well, I'll move to this location. It may be easier for the situation, not even realizing who you about to run into and what you two are about to be called to do. So therefore, again, had you made that move, you would have been had to leave. You understand me? So you feeling like you waiting out or you waiting, you feeling like things is getting drawn out. God's like, nah, chill out. Divine timing. It's that all about time. And think about double dutch. If somebody goes in too quick, quick, they're going to trip, stumble, fall. 
If somebody goes in too late, they're going to get hit with the rope. But at the right time, you just got to, okay, see? Oh, should I go now? Nah. Should I go now? You got to pace yourself. God is having everything work out again. You got to realize that your plan, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever the case may be, has always been God's plan A from the first. You understand me? So everything is working out. I know you kind of confused as far as what else you should do. Some of you, again, are doing what God's asking you to do and you feeling like, well, was there something that I'm missing? Yeah. But you put all the pieces that you had in your box together. You see a certain picture clearly. But somebody else is going to bring another piece that's going to combine and that's going to turn into a masterpiece. You understand me? There's clues and keys that are getting presented to you. There's nothing that you're missing. You just continue to do what God's asking you to do. No matter what nobody says, but chosen ones. With that being said, right, we're going to have to talk about another thing, right? Don't confuse the devil's temptations with God presenting certain gifts to you. Now, what do I mean? See, with that same conversation that we just had about certain moves that we was going to do, you understand me? Chosen ones, I'm trying to tell you, the devil will try to come in and bribe you as well. Now, what do I mean? See, if it's from God, you doing everything that you're supposed to do. You're not going to have to alter this here. You're not going to have to lie about that there. You're not going to have to stretch this over here. You understand me? Now, what do I mean? So, for instance, there could be, you, you go to a restaurant and it's crowded. So, you eat your food. Then this person never brings you your check. And they say bye to you. They forgot that you ain't even paid them yet, right? So, in that moment. You have an opportunity. Say some people are gonna say, Oh, thank you, God. See, that was nothing but God. He had us not even have to pay. See, those people forgot all about it. So you got to walk out and you ate free that day, right? See, that wasn't God, that was the devil testing you. Now, what do I mean? See, if it was God who had presented that opportunity for you, there would have been a few things differently. Now, what do I mean? See, if it was God, it would have been when that person looked over your table and you brought it to their attention, they would have had the opportunity then, that's that free will, right? Where they would have been able to say, oh, matter of fact, go ahead, don't even worry about it. Oh, that's God right there. See, that's God right there. When you do the right thing and they still look out for you, when you do the right thing and they still like, oh, nah, go ahead, thank you for telling me though. Huh? Oh, all right, cool, see? Okay, we gonna keep going. There's certain places that you applying to. You sit there and made false pay stubs, got your people frauding in a sense. You done did all of this stuff, right? And you got approved for that place and you talking about God, thank you, God, that was you. You think that was God if you had a fraud in order to get into there? See, this is how you know it was God, right? This is how you gonna know it's God. When you tell those individuals exactly what you working with, you be honest and upfront with them like, listen, I ain't got this, but I got that. I can put towards it or my your credit could be a little iffy, but you can explain it or so on and so forth. You take accountability and they like, yo, I'm still going to take a chance with you. Oh, that's God right there, right? See, the devil is the one who's going to try to get you to deter, get you to bend and break a few things. You understand me? Lie. Because why? He gets certain credit off of you going into that negative energy. The devil will sit there and finesse you out of your blessings too. So therefore, he could try to get those things from you. See, chosen ones, you know that it's God when you do the right thing and God gets into that mind of that person that you applied to or that position that you applied to and that person who overlooks those applications for you. God, you talking to them just being honest and they like, you know what, I'm going to work with you. That was God right there. You understand me? See, some of those individuals that apply to that PPP loan knowing they ain't had no business doing it, right? As soon as they got approved, they talking about God did it. Oh, thank you, God. You think God was going to have you apply to something that you ain't had no business doing. So therefore, again, you got away with it and you got that finance quick. But don't you know how the feds work? 
feds ain't gonna hit you instantly. They gonna sit on it. They gonna wait a few years. They gonna see if you gonna do certain things, other things too, right? And then they gonna prounce on you. They gonna prey on you. They gonna get you. Now you buck, you booked, right? When you could have did the right thing and God would have had them 10 stacks come in by you investing in yourself in your business or you doing right by some person and now they didn't get a big thing of money and they want to bless you with it. See, if it was God, God's going to have you do the right thing with the right intentions. But so many people talking about that was God that got that approval. You talking about, oh, how the government messed with other individuals. So therefore you was going to do it to them too. That makes you no better than those individuals that do foul things. That's almost like certain Let's let's say that's let's say that's almost like the Jewish community arguing with the African American community. I say melanated community. I don't say black because black means being like I ain't that. You understand me? But as far as melanin community, that would be like the Jewish community in the melanated community beefing over as far as who had it the worst when both of them was done bad. But they want to compare and downplay what that person went through just to make seem like they better so on and so so chosen ones. If you're doing the wrong thing, you understand me? And they doing they did something wrong to you and you match that energy in a sense, you just as bad as those people too. Common consequences come in. You understand me? I'm trying to tell you. So you don't match energy. You knew that you had no business doing what you did, but you did it, right? There's some people right now trying to save up for those funds because they feel like they're going to get away with it. Thinking like, oh, well, I got they got 10 stacks. So if they st save up 10 stacks and they can pay those people back and they ain't going to get booked. That's not how that works, sweetheart. But had you did the right thing, God would have blessed you. God would again. You know how the, many people sat there and went to sleep with no bread, woke up a billionaire instead. And guess who they went to go bless those people who was blessing them when they felt like they was in lack? Do you realize that some of you are on top of individuals blessing list that as soon as certain things come in their hand, they looking out for you too, based upon the fact that you ain't even realized the biggest impact that you had on these individuals. Do you not know that the person that you encourage to keep doing their music, that they momentum, their time is finally coming. And as soon as they blow up, they going to show up and bless you because you was the individual that encouraged them to do what they was called to do, but nobody believed in them. Huh? That you served as a confirmation that day that they know where they was going to go, what direction to do. But God spoke through you and you was, again, obedient enough to repeat that message to them, not even knowing how they was going to react about it. See, chosen ones, you don't know. You thinking because you've been on the top of people's hit list as far as disrespecting, taking advantage, so on and so forth, that you don't realize you on the top of somebody's blessed list right now. I done told y'all, I done witnessed that in real time. You understand me? I done seen, let me tell you a story, right? So there's a this older feminine Miss Alma, right? I met her. As soon as I moved from... See, let me tell you, when I graduated in Maryland, right, I moved to North Carolina for a bit, right, Greensboro. That's why I met her. She was people with the person I was talking with, right? See, she started off a single mother. Her child's father wasn't there. She was working real hard as a nurse to take care of certain individuals, right? So she was helping people who couldn't help themselves, nurse their homes, all of that, right? So she was able to buy a, finally buy a house herself. She was happy. It may not, you understand that was something that she could get. Tell me why the person that she was taking care of, right, was a millionaire. She ain't even know it. See, the person who was in that home that she was taking care of all along, she ended up passing away. She ain't leave nothing to her family. She left it to her instead. So what I mean, she went to sleep, working and having to be at that job to being to the fact that the next day she end up being a millionaire because that person left everything to them because of how they treated them while they was there. You understand me? But guess what she did? Kept on working because that was her purpose. That's what she was called to do. That's something that she would have naturally done no matter if money came through or not. That's what she was called to do. So after she became technically a millionaire, she continued to work and help individuals too. Till this day, she in a 50s, 60s, and she's still out here helping individuals. Not because she has to, 
She got a few houses, put her kids all through school. All her kids they first went was fully paid for, and she gave them the option to do what they wanted to do. Grandchildren too, certain things she don't got a care in the world. She does all these do-it-yourself projects at certain houses. All because she did what God asked her to do, which her purpose was. So I'm telling you, y'all got blessings coming to you too. The devil's trying to persuade you to stop moving the way that you're moving. The devil's trying to sit there and put certain fear in you, doubt in you. So now that's why you kept looking over your pieces of your puzzle, thinking that you were lacking. And God's like, nah, that next clue I'm about to bring to you. See, you, again, you got to realize God gives you a quick glimpse of the future that you about to have before the devil behind you tries to see it and sabotage it. The devil can't see like you do. Why you think all these karmics feel a certain type of way? Because you speak in your truth. Because they know that no matter what they try to convey themselves as, you see them for who they are. They, you know that they souls in lack. You know that, man, I'm trying to tell you. Do you realize how the world's changing, chosen ones? See, do you realize that? That the chosen ones, we actually are reuniting with each other? If you look right now in the comments, people talking about this is their truth, this is their story. But you remember when you was just going through it? You thought it was just you? You thought that you was unfavored? You thought that you was cursed too? You thought that you was negative? You thought that you was limited? You thought that the world was against you? Whole time you had somebody else in your tribe that you ain't met yet that was going through it? Do you realize how you reconnected with your true tribe? You was trying to blend in and you was upset that the devil didn't accept you at that time? Chosen ones, don't you know it? We putting each other on. If I know that you good, man, let me tell you about myself, right? I'm telling you, if as long, anybody who ever met me, if I see something golden in you, I believe in you. There's people that doubt themselves. Every time I see you, I'm talking life into you. Like, hey, yo, where that music at? Let me hear it. Hey, yo, I love the way, man, you dress. I'm, a, I, I'm telling you. I see the great in you. I see, I've always seen through souls. So I see the truth in you. I don't see that, oh, you trying to act tough. Man, I see you a sweetheart. What's up? I'm talking you like that. And guess what? They got uncomfortable at times. Then all of a sudden, I see them thawing out a little bit. See, they had their ice on. They hard on ice. Now this melting. Now they being, showing the real them. Oh, now nah, I don't care how you try to act. Oh, shorty, you try to act like this. I see through that. What's up? The toughest female turn into a buttercup the hardest masculine now he's expressing his feelings again i see through what you showing other individuals baby i like what i see i like you for being authentically you you understand me you around me anyway i'm gonna see the qualities in you so you could have been a, a rapper coming up nobody even plays your music what you might have the toughest music of it all i'm thinking about you why? Because I'm like, yeah, as soon as I come on, I'm about to put that person on too. And it's not even people I hold big conversations with. I observe you. I take a notation in my mental for you. And everybody who knows me know I'm coming back for you. I promise you. What you do? I'm telling you. I'm anybody. What you do? Oh, you do music? Okay. But it's my people who come to me, try sell that shit. I typically reach out to them and speak truth into them like, hey, yo. You, you want, I'm telling you, you may not know this right now, but God told me to come through and tell you it's about to be your season. And everybody who's coming through your lives talking foul about you, leaving certain petty ass comments, they're going to be the same ones that try to jump on your movement when they see that shit moving. Keep doing what you're doing. All of a sudden, they're going to talk about you ain't all this, you ain't all that. Till somebody that they thought was all that sits there and gives you acknowledgement then. Till everybody's on your bandwagon and you catch your momentum then. Now they're going to try to catch up. Oh, nah. Stay where you was at. Trying to tell you. So, chosen ones, you better do what you feel called to do. I'm telling music is a big key right now. And I'm telling you, you do music, stop doing that auto-tune shit. That's where music is. That's why people can't feel it. Because they can't feel it. Because that's not even you. That's not your voice. Sometimes we need to hear that raz. Sometimes we need to hear that bass. 
Sometimes we just need to hear how you feel right then. You try to perform how other people, you try to go viral on TikTok. So you're not even being you. You sitting there doing certain shit that you think that other people going like. Don't you know trends come and go, but that real remains the same? That those people who follow you for the trend will turn on you the next day? Man, come on now. You better be authentically you. You understand me? When we felt that in those records, that's what people get drawn to. But the devil didn't distract you and told you F your feelings. Why? Because the devil can't feel nothing. So they try to get you. Don't use your intuition. Don't use your heart. Because they heartless. They ain't got no intuition. If you don't realize this, chosen ones, not everybody has intuition. Not everybody has discernment. You know how we say there's going to be somebody who's intelligent but lacks common sense. So they not as smart as they think. They just know how to repeat shit. Huh? How you know somebody who could tell you the square root of this, that, and the third, but don't know basic shit? Don't know how to survive? And you like, how you so smart and you couldn't put them, them, key, them clues together for this? Huh? I'm trying to tell you. So you somebody who authentically knows you, knows certain things because that's what God gives you. Not everybody got intuition and discernment. That's God's personal GPS. That's God's personal, again, walkie-talkie in a sense. You got to be on the same channel as God, the same frequency as God in order to hear what he's saying. You know how, this is how the devil work, right? The devil will watch you, try to see you slip up and say certain things that you want to do in order to try to deter you from it or sabotage you, right? The devil doesn't know what you say. That's why I say when you speak to God, you don't got to speak out loud. You can pray in your head. It's not because you embarrassed to give God his glory. It's because certain people are lurking in the background certain entities listening so on and so they can't tap into that intuition they don't got that walkie talkie so even if they try to listen in it's going to be like if you have a walkie talkie how you hear static and certain things fade in and fade out so you pick certain pieces off of it like love she him so they don't know they try to put things together that's why they mess with that damn ouija board well, if you use them damn blues clues, it's telling you that the devil done lost and you about to lose too. That what you try to do to the chosen one came back on you, silly rabbit. These people keep getting readers on you. It's going to say the same thing. The chosen one is victorious and you lose it. The chosen ones made it and you lost. The chosen one survived and you die. That's it. You keep getting on. Stop wasting your money getting these readings on the same shit, karmics. It's going to say the same thing. You done. Finito. It's over. You out here trying. How they say? Wishing on a star? Huh? You out here what? It's going to lead to the same thing. You're ending. It's done. The devil is already dead. I'm telling you, before the devil died, he came to God trying to repent. Talking about, hey, yo, listen. I, I know what they doing out there, but I'm trying to see, can we work something else out? God's like, what? Do they know about that? Do your little minions that's out here running rugged, do they know where you at right now? Huh? The devil like, man, listen, we ain't got to tell them because, man, just look. God's like, huh? Oh, nah. And guess what? It's off what the devil said. Now the minions is trying to figure out what to do. They running around rapid too. That's why they losing their mind. Huh? They don't got nowhere you going to. All the practitioners that was playing in energy, you fading out. You dead. You understand me? You dead. You gone. You know that too. You scared. But you know what you did. So it's coming back to you. Those people that was praying, again, praying on other individuals downfall. Now you still doing dark shit. But praying to God, thinking that God's going to stop it, you the reason why it even started. Off with your head. There's nowhere that you can run. And you know what's going to drive y'all crazy? See, and I'm talking about the karmic chosen ones. See, the chosen ones, they chosen ones, they watching you right now. Because they done did all of these things to try to tear you down, right? They sent chaos spells to make you feel like you crazy. Chaos spells to have everybody work against you. So that's when everybody out the blue had an attitude with you. You like, what the fuck is going on around here? 
Like what, Miss Margaret? You getting smart too? Oh, sure. You want to get smart too? Damn, James, what I did? Like you understand me? You was up like confused, falling out with your friends, job acting stupid. It was the chaos spells that they sent to you. They wanted everybody to view you negatively like they did. They seen people loved and acknowledged you. They seen that you had greatness, but they didn't want other people to do it too. So guess what they did? Attack those individuals when they was attacking you, okay? But all of a sudden, what you did? You kept going, you was like, well, shit, fuck it then. Miss Murray, keep your ass on that side of the street. Sure, don't even speak to me. James, it is what it is. You was cool. Like, man, fuck y'all. And you kept it moving. They like, damn. That's not how we thought it was going to be. Shorty said, fuck them. She ain't care. Okay, cool. So then what did they do? Then what they do? Had your kids acting up. Had you seeing certain shit out the corner of your eye. They sent black magic to you to make you feel like you was paranoid and crazy, right? Sending certain things, deities you seen working. You like, what is going on? Then when you found out your power and realized that everything that they conjured up, couldn't attack you unless you was actually displaying that negative energy like these individuals told them in order for them to even come to you. See, you ain't match energy, you maintain yours. So when those demons came, they realized that they was coming towards a chosen one. See, when you sat there and was like, God, they said, yo, you said so-and-so was evil. They talking about God. Hold on, let me hear. And they heard how God was talking to you and through you and was doing certain things for you. It, they was like, what? Oh, nah. You try to set them up. So what they do, them demons went back to that individual who was conjuring up. That's why they going crazy. They losing their mind. Hearing shit. Again, they acting like Smokey when he was in that chicken coop. I bet, because you know what you did. You had so-and-so going crazy because you wanted them to off themselves. Because you couldn't do it. See, when they did death spells to you, they was trying to conjure certain illnesses in you. You came out with a cold. So you sitting there was complaining, talking about, man, how you upset that you had a cold. And I'm like, man, don't you realize them shorties was out there wishing death on you? And you came out with a cold. You coughed a few times and you was cool. Huh? They was out there trying to get you. And why you realize that you sitting there thinking that you had a little cold, like, and you giving them acknowledgement, talking about what they were sending in. So you was trying to give them power to seem like they was able actually doing something. Whole time, they didn't even get a small portion of what they was trying to do. God said, hey, yo, you was trying to send them what? Hi. You see how it came out of cold. They cough, they sniff a little bit, blow their nose. Now they cool, but now they about to have them deadly illnesses. Now they about to have terminal illnesses that they can't get rid of. Some of them going to go to the doctor having certain problems and the doctor don't even have a name for what they had. It was that conjuring that you did. That death spell that you did. Now you, again, it's almost like final destination. You don't know where and how it's about to hit. I'm telling you, there's certain people, a lot of these people who was doing black magic, they are passing from terminal illnesses. They having ovarian issues. They have, why? Because they try to pray over your womb that you wouldn't have no babies come through. Now you so fertile. Now you about to have the blessings, the ancestors about to get birth through you. And this person, now, every child they try to bring in, it ends up ending because they sacrificed them from the beginning. Um, huh? What you mean? They was talking stuff on you. They was trying to make it so that you ain't have no children. At that time, God ain't have you have a child because God was like, nah, we got some things we about to pan out. The God wanted to see how far they was going to go. Oh, they thought they were stopping it? I'm telling you, some of you were stepping into the most fertile season that you about to have. They knew that you were supposed to have a child with so-and-so, so they tried to prevent that. Oh, they coming. Your child's on standby like, oh, all right, my iPod, I'm waiting for you. See, your child, every time you thought your child was going to check in, they like, oh, you, you trying to make my father who? Huh? Oh, nah, I ain't coming in there. Oh, you trying to make my mother who? Huh? Oh, nah, that ain't my mother. I ain't coming through there. So you thinking you, something's wrong with you. And nah, that's your divine child. It's like, I'm not coming through. That's not my people. Like, ma, wake up. You trying to bring me through. You trying to bring a real one through a karmic 
You trying to bring the ancestor, the people that you, I'm telling you, some of you are the individuals that they read about in scriptures now. That's why, again, the joke's on them. That's why they wondering why their life is tearing down. Do you know who you playing with? You, some of these people don't know. We always, sir, be careful how you treat people because you never know who's an earth angel, who's around here, God's right hand, and what? Huh? Do you realize that the reason why we kept giving you so many opportunities because we like, man, maybe they don't know. Maybe they don't know who they messing with. Hey, listen, maybe they... Now, guess what? We take... Now we telling you, you, you must not know, but you gonna know now. You better be cautious. Out. We setting the act. We setting an example for them, cause they not gonna always run into somebody as divinely as you. But we gonna make sure that they, from that day forward, I bet you won't bully another individual. Bet you won't gang stalk no more. Bet you won't send no black magic towards nobody else and they family and they friends. Bet you won't speak no separation before between no more divine partnerships. Bet you won't do that. Because you ain't going to have an opportunity to. See, that's why they coming and they studying you. If you were to look right now, which you don't have to, don't, do not. Do not. I'm just telling you flat out. There's certain karmics that they are seeing and they try to operate in your likeness. They trying to again. If they can't do it, they try to get somebody else around you, them to do you, to be you. Because they try to see they, how they wasn't successful in defeating you because you do not know who you play with. And I say that, how they say, mira, mira, look up, like, for real. Y'all, I'm telling you, comics, you do not know, we spurred you. We sometimes, we like, oh, we done been there heartbreak. Sometimes we, you could be just upset. I understand that sometimes if you're not ready for the closure, it can hit you hard when it comes in. I understand. No, I understand sometimes it's sad to see somebody else that you thought that you wanted to be with happy somewhere else. I, I understand. We was shy, huh? We was shy to coach them in a sense like, it's all right, baby girl, listen. I know, see, I know what you're saying about him, and it may appear like that for you, but it's because you was trying to get, again, somebody to play a position that didn't fit in with you. Like, to you, he could have been an eyeball, but to me, he fits right in. To you, she could have been, you understand, terrible. But to that other person, oh, that's their best friend. You understand me? So, nah. We try to tell them, like, baby girl, just like I found my divine person, and you upset because they got to leave you, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're the wrong person right now. If you get your energy up, they gonna meet you too. But you gonna have to come up off of that. Flat out. Sorry. Not sorry. We gave you some time, but it's it's over. You hear me? It's it's done. It's a wrap. We gave you time. Now time's up. Now let me tell you this too. Them karmic, some of them still out there doing certain things. You can feel it, but it's almost like a Again, that net net energy. Like they too, yeah, they they too small to make a major impact. They just an annoyance because they keep popping up. So as soon as I put this down and I start popping my damn hand around, huh? I start swatting down some shit. What's gonna happen then? Huh? That's what you doing energetically. You was sitting there mind your business. They kept zoom, zooming in, like, yo, chill out. Little magic that they was doing. Little lies that they was telling. Little manipulation that they was doing. You like, all right, chill out, chill out. Now you mean I got put down what I'm doing to now address you? Oh, best believe this a wrap. We ain't going to do this shit again. It's a wrap. You ain't going to have no opportunity to bring your little ass around here energetically. Huh? We try to give you time. You messed up. See, I, we not even the type you try to attack our children. We will never send that negative children energy towards yours. Oh, but you gonna have to pay for it. Oh, your ass. See, that's almost like somebody telling their child to come up and kick you, teaching their child to spit on you, teaching their child to stat stat all of this stuff. I might not whoop their ass. Oh, but you. Oh, you gonna get it. So how they say God protects babies and fools because whatever a child does at their younger age, that comes back on the individual who raised them. So, oh, 
You was out there trying to get your child in certain rituals. Oh, you was trying to speak foul on somebody else's child. Oh, now, now somebody else's child's getting wiped out. See, we're not going to wish that it's yours. They may come close, but we may speak life unto them. Oh, but you, the mother, the, the child of somebody else, oh, you getting wiped out. And we ain't speaking it on you, but we know what you send out comes back to you. So you thought who? Y'all, hey, I'm trying to tell you. Every time you duck off of the internet for a little bit, they praying that you had a downfall. Now you come back and guess what's playing in the back of their head? They still alive. How they say, I'm still alive. What you mean? I'm trying to tell you. Do not, they, it's just ridiculous. But again, they were sending all this stuff to you. Lies. Because lies is a form of magic. Lies is a form of magic. Because what is magic but words with intentions behind it to change how people view you or change how certain things happen for you. So even those lies, they out there creating all these fake profiles with your name and your picture, acting like you reaching out to them. Whole time you like, what? I ain't even know who so-and-so's... Man, this is from... <laughs> Thank you, God. Because God always has me be able to relate and I had to give you an example. I remember certain comics used to reach out to me and I didn't even know who they were, what they looked like or nothing. And then all of a sudden, when I finally seen them and start scrolling, I start realizing like, shorty, you have been watching what I've been posting for a few seasons now. You've been lurking for a minute. There's some people that used to hit me up talking about, yo, oh yeah, I know you talking about me. I'm thinking like, huh? Who are you first? And then two, baby, listen. You, the shoe fit. I told you, God gonna make sure that message comes through no matter how much you try to escape it. You gonna catch that truth. Also, you come to me because I know you. I know your soul. I know your energy. I'm reading your ass. I'm bringing attention, right? It's making you uncomfortable. See, you been trying to bury that shit. And guys having, one, you can't ignore my voice, baby. This ain't no little girly girl voice, baby. That rasp gonna hit your ass hard. You heard me. How I talk, oh, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna remember that. You understand me? So there's certain individuals that you rough on their feather, they seeing you as the op, and you don't even know who they was at that time. You just knew that energy. You like, oh yeah, you sure that he was scamming, huh? Oh, you was upset. Oh, you was the shorty that was doing black magic. That's why you said. Oh, you was the person that was behind the scene line. They bring themselves out. You hear me? That's it. Sometimes we the spray in a sense. We spread the truth. We spray the truth out there. And what would happens when you spray some shit, then bugs start coming out of the surface. Start coming out what was hidden, right? We had told you chosen ones. One, we the trumpets that they talk about in the Bible. How they say you hear the trumpets come and you know God's about to step in the room. See, we the trumpets. We speak our truth and we ruffle the feathers of these individuals. See, the demons get mad when we speak our truth because they know what's coming behind us. God and his wrath. Huh? Uh-oh. Huh? Oh, you know when I spark this truth? They ain't nowhere that that darkness can run to, huh? I like to that all time high. That's why when these chosen ones, the fact that we reuniting, the fact that we like, man, we ain't letting none of that dark shit come in between this. We lighting up the world, huh? The darkness uncomfortable. It's almost looking like Lion King where they got that little smart dark part, like don't go there. Now that shit is limited. They, that's about to be destroyed. And they starting to go up against each other in a sense, see chosen one. I'm trying to tell you. That's why they try to shut you up. That's why they try to have you doubt yourself. Oh, nah, you can say what you say, but if God tell me to say it, I'm going to say that. And guess what? We almost like those hounds in a sense that when we come in that area, them ducks and them birds start flying, them feathers get ruffling, huh? And then guess what? That presents the perfect opportunity for that shot, and that's God and his wrath knocking their ass out. What did you think was going to happen? We are the mounds. We research. We using our senses in a sense. See, chosen ones, what if I told you that they are so mad at you because everything that they sent to you didn't have no impact? 
See, you could have started having troubles, needing glasses. See, they try to take out your vision, but you started to use your other senses. See, you started to pick up using your intuition. See, when they sat there and tried this area to having lack, you got strong in another area in a sense. And then guess what? You trained your body to use this and this came through and start working again. And now you surrounded. Man, listen, that's why they mad. That's why they mad. You understand me? That's why they mad. They sat there and tried to have you had car troubles. Your tire went flat. Didn't even realize at that time they sent chaos spells so you wasn't even connected with somebody that it could have came and helped you. So what did you have to do? Get outside and fix your own tire. But now you teaching other individuals how to do that too. So you the light that just keeps lighting up other things for people to learn from and be able to... Nah. Had they not did that though, you wouldn't have known how to change your own stuff. See, again, God said they renew that you was going to have to cross paths with somebody else at that point in time later in your life that may have been stuck. And you told them, nah, this is how you do it. This is how you adjust it. Now you go take that to somebody else. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, you got out of an abusive relationship? Okay, cool. Cool, you survived. Now this person going through it. Okay, this is what you're going to do. You're going to sit there and don't even let them know that you want, that you about to make no more. You got to be, how they say, like a thief in the night. You got to move secretly. This how I got out. This how you going to get out. Now, guess what? You helping. Now, it's a gift that keeps on giving. Now, all of a sudden, one day, you out in public, see somebody and they partner get into it. Now, you get to step in. Now, you get to speak and say something, and that's their confirmation. Now, you get to let them know that you got through it, too, and how you did it, and now you help them, and now they help another. It's the gift that keeps on giving. You understand me? That person... That you held the door out for and they ain't say thank you you took offense to it see you could have said i ain't open the door for nobody else but that would have meant you let that person's projections on you turn you into somebody else right or you could have just felt like this so and so could have had a bad day so and so may have been dist distracted by other things so and so could be thinking about how they ain't thank you when they was walking ahead. So now that's in their mind. So that the next person who does it, they quick and surely are quick to say it. Or they opening doors instead. You understand me? It's the gift that keeps on giving. See, people think generational wealth is that money that you give to your kids and it passes on. It's that knowledge. Why do I say this? Chosen ones, if you haven't realized, this is a stimulation. Now, what do I mean? You see how the AI now, you see on certain YouTube ads, how it looks like this person's talking and saying this, how this person's talking and doing this, how, again, you don't, if you looked on you, if you looked on Google right now and type something in that you used to type in before and you know the outcome that was going to come, this pop up first, this, 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 if you was to type in that same thing right now, you would realize that it's been altered, right? Either it doesn't say the same thing, or again, it pops up things differently. So the thing that you used to go to for proof is no longer there. So now you got to scroll through something else, right? But only you know that it used to be like that. You telling the other person like, damn, it used to pop up like this. They don't know, but you passing that information down to them, right? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Just making sure, right? Not only that, chosen ones. See, people used to get their feathers ruffled when I used to say, hey, yo, I don't believe Harriet Tubman was real. And they'd be like, what you mean? That's in history. So you mean to tell me that uh, individuals who have worked so hard to erase people's history they and do not like feminines and didn't like melanated people, that they going to tell you because to this day, they don't want no female president, right? But they're going to tell you about a feminine that happened to be melanated, that outsmarted certain slave masters and freed all these individuals. I've been saying Harriet look like a damn AI. I'm going to be real. You mean to tell me they're going to say Harriet, she, they're going to tell you about how she was able to finesse the masters and lead people to freedom in the underground railroad but we do now know that the under underground tunnels are people trafficking so to me her ass was trafficking some melanins i ain't trying to hear that shit you ain't about to tell me that she wasn't out here trafficking motherfuckers through that tunnel 
Target. I don't know. It's not making sense. It ain't making sense. Oh, they said she was knocking out babies. Ain't that what they do to these trafficking ass kids? These kids they trafficking? Knocking their ass out so you don't hear nothing? I'm just saying, you better. But anyway, what if you realize that every... Because if you look back at true... Stay with me, right? If you look back, right, at certain things that they showed how technology was back then. And you like, damn, if they was doing that 400 years ago, how come it's now still seems quote unquote limited, right? What if they kept having resets where certain people know too much, reset it, they change the setting? Because I've been saying certain time too. I feel like because they have control over cell phones and certain things that they can make the date and the time change no matter what, right? They can make it seem like today says Tuesday, but you know those days that kind of feel like Saturdays and Sundays and, huh? Okay, now stay with me, right? I'm saying this chosen ones because you not realizing your generational wealth, the most important thing to pass on is that knowledge. Things that you learn, those lessons you learn, those things that you know how to do, certain truths, certain things, chosen ones. If you was to hear the history that they teach in a school and you talk to an older individual that was there and they like, man, that ain't true. But if people keep repeating it, some people will doubt it. And some people will start doubting themselves like, well, damn, did that happen? I'm not sure. Are you sure? So people think that they crazy because they uncertain. Then when you go to that other person, they like, nah, that's this is how it really was. And they confident about it. They stand solid on it, right? And you like, nah, there's no way that they making that up. You know that they know what they talking about, right? Oh, all right. So you not realizing now why the devil's trying to wipe you out? Why these demonic individuals that's in certain high locations are trying to wipe out your memory why they try to have you forget who you were how they try to have you doubt what you're saying so that you're not passing on that generational wealth to other lineages huh do you realize that knowledge is something that they can't take from you that memory even somebody who has alzheimer's somebody dementia that memory comes back right they might have a little shortage in that wire but it's still oh why so why you think that they try to get you to forget but listen f talking about forget as a melanated group f, f just talking about forget as a, a spanish group asian group whatever the case may be i'm talking about you gotta realize that again it's about that soul in your past life you could have been as far as uh a Caucasian feminine that was here to help certain people escape certain things that they was experiencing. And now this light time, you melanated. Or certain people in the past that they could have been melanated and they or Caucasian and hated melanated people. So now they came back as a melanated person this light time and that's the people who have that self-hate issues. Don't you know it's that soul? Don't you know that? Why you think that you ever seen somebody who has an accent or and you like, damn, this is that past lifetime coming through that past person that they was. You understand me? And you start to realize that, man, listen, we're going to get into that another day because it get a little deep. But I promise you we're going to talk about it. But chosen ones, you know what you know, right? You know what God told you, right? You know, you know what you know, right? But you also know that things can be altered, right? Okay, I'm just making sure. You know that the internet shit don't matter, right? Because you see how Wikipedia works? People used to go to Wikipedia to see exactly people's information and trusted it. And now you go on there and you see it's altered with. They talking about Mountain Lu Martin Luther King was a rapper or whatever they can. You like, huh? Why you think that they keep trying to get you to get forget simple things? And why you think that the chosen ones love simplicity? They try to teach you for, to forget how to use fires. Oh, just use this lighter instead. Hmm? They try to teach you how to survive certain things, right? Oh, I.
They try to make it so that you so back in the day we ain't had no phones. What we do, we had to get our ass up and go find the individuals. Like energetically, we felt like, man, I think so and so's probably at this person's house. Cause we intuitively felt it. What if you knew in past lifetimes you ain't even used words? That's something that the devil created. Don't you know telepathically that's how us chosen ones speak? Cause we ain't let the devil know what we was doing. They ain't speak the same language as us in a sense. Do you realize that? Language is not, oh, this person says this or Spanish and English. That's not the language. Language is that intuition that we feel people's presence before they present. We feel like, yo, I think so-and-so's about to reach out and they reach out. Man, I think so-and-so's probably, something's telling me to pet drive past here. They are intuition. That day that you wasn't even going, shit, I can say for myself, I wasn't even going to ever meet my twin had it not been for me listening to my intuition. Every time he wanted to meet and see me, I would like, nah, I'm cool. Or I come up with an excuse. For some reason, it just made me like a little nervous. Then all of a sudden, out of the blue, he was from, going to a, from a different city. He ain't even lived where I met him. I ain't even lived nowhere where I met him. Just randomly one day we crossed paths and that's how we got reunited. You understand me? So certain things God's telling you, certain things intuitively, that's why they tell you to forget about feelings. If you don't put some old music on and let you feel that, you understand me? When they say, oh, well, that is different than new music. They was talking about some nasty shit too. Yeah, because we know them grandmothers used to listen to that song, Stand Up, Bennett and all that. We know what they was talking about, Granny. Oh, you can ring whose bell? I, shh, you hear me? We used to, we know that, but it was different. Because when they was talking about it, they was talking about their feelings. They wasn't just saying, yeah, we're going to smash and pass on to that. Even when they was talking about mistresses, talking about if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. They were speaking the truth still. It may not have been right, motherfucker, but you should have made a decision. But they were speaking their truths, right? Oh, all right. Hold on. Let me see. I think I see a question. Uh, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. They say, Mrs. Jones. Listen. Huh? You know that. I'm trying to tell you. Now, I seen a question, right? And it said that, and I, my condolences to you, that what do you do if your twin, you say your twin passed in an accident, right? Now, I'm going to speak pretending to myself, right? And those who really on a twin flame. And again, I'm going to have a whole course about this, how to, dis, you know what I'm saying, tell the difference between it. Let me tell you, when you met your twin flame, no matter what happens, no matter if they with somebody else, you love them the same. No matter if... It ever worked out, you this man. I could speak for myself. For, for my twin, it's the fact that I met him and I experienced that real love in a sense. I felt something so pure, so real, so strong. We talked without talking, and then when we start talking, we realize that we've been talking everything to the point where I'm like, if if I don't have love moving, if I don't find a soulmate that I want to settle with, I'm cool being single and prospering in my purpose because I had the opportunity to meet that person. And I know that next lifetime, the fact that we met back next lifetime, we're going to do the same. So as long as I did what I was supposed to do, the work I was supposed to do in this lifetime, that I know I'm going to still run into that individual and everything's going to be cool. That no matter what distance, I'm still communicating with them. You understand me? So when you experience a love so pure, you know that that person is with you. When you really know and had that bond or you know how spirituality works, you may have lost that physical body, but you gained something stronger. You understand me? So for that beautiful, I understand you hurting right now. And I what again, you come to me, I could I give readings on whether or not that's a karmic or soulmate in a sense. Cause some of you could be feeling like that was your true love. And that could have been a soulmate that basically set that foundation for you to find your twin, to find the person. So, so some people, spirits are stepping stones to lead you to the person that you're supposed to take you to. So you could be saying you'll never love again, but your person that you was with could actually be the person that's pushing you towards the person that you're supposed to be with. You understand me? 
I promise you. So I know how you feel. And again, you can send me a message. I'll be more happy to confirm that for you. But I promise you, you understand me? So chosen ones, I love you. I promise you, I, I rock with you. I say anybody who come through my coaching sessions, you already know how I'm carrying you. You know I'm praying on behalf of you. You know I'm cheering for you. You know I'll be that one in the stands gassing you up. You forgot who you were, baby. I'm going to remind you. I'll be out there like Joe said. Shit, I'll be out there on the mic like Martin was. You understand me? When, huh? Y'all know when he was on stage. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I hit a few of them with you. I'm on the stage cheering for you. I believe in you. I promise you. I know that you may not see it because you're going through it. You understand me? Sometimes it takes somebody from the outside looking in to tell you, like, yo, you hit it in the right direction. Like, you good. Like, if I got to be that sign where it's like, keep going, oh, why I'll be that. I'm trying to tell you. I'm here. I got you. I love you. Now, again, y'all, you need me, you know how to reach me. Please don't get finessed by these fake pages. I only got one TikTok. So somebody messaged you from others, it ain't me, my niece. It ain't me, babies. I only got one Instagram. If somebody messages you for others, it's not me. All right? I don't accept as far as no cash app payments from my rent. The coaching sessions booked through the link of my bio. All right? So don't let nobody play in your energy because you got people who's watching you that's sending certain readers to get in your energy to see where you hit it towards. So be cautious. You know I'm going to call that shit out. I love you. All right? Y'all can say you do be great. I'm going to upload this later on YouTube. I appreciate you. Y'all continue to be great.